What is the hobbyist? Jordan and Lance here with another MJR Hobby Stuff video. Today we're looking at something I hold very near and dear to my heart. I'm a huge Ultraman fan uh, from as far back as I can remember. Specium Ray all day, all day. All right. Today we've got the Ultra Act line from 2012 and beyond for a few years. They were this beautiful, uh, like six inch and a half or sometimes a little taller pieces. Um, this is Ultraman, the original from 2012. Attached to him is this cape thing known as the Brothers Mantle. Uh, the original six brothers are supposed to wear them, um, but I, I only have one. And they're very expensive. Yeah, they're expensive. They're like 40 ish dollars for one little cape thing. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. All right. What are we doing? And we've got original Ultraman. We've got oh, seven, 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 seven. And this brown box full of excitement and mystery. Put it down. They don't want to see it yet. Oh. It's, it doesn't exist. He's my childhood best friend, so I also love Ultraman growing up. Um, so at home I have Ultraman, Ultra 7, uh, and Leo and Tiga. So we're going to probably be opening those up as well. But again, this is as good as it gets. Um, so a lot of us, uh, so we are we grew up in the 80s and 90s. Um, most of the Ultraman action figures were those, uh, they were hollow, uh, you know, Sofubi like a uh, single uh, mold injected plastic. Uh, they only like three points of actions, uh, f action figures. So um, this is everything we ever wanted as children. I mean, they have immense posability. They have a, stur a sturdiness. Of course, Ultraman himself is the most classic design, beautiful design. Um, God, I want to say like maybe there's 32 points of art articulation on this figure. He can um, do the Billy Jack and uh, Chris and kick you in the face. Uh, without you being able to do anything about it. Um, the paint is great. It's everything we ever wanted. Um, I can recall uh, when I was 11, there's this uh, Japanese um, department store that's still in existence in some fashion in Hawaii called uh, Shirokia. And I saved up my allowance to buy Ultraman and Ultraman Taro uh, in a, uh, a band I made a, um, a, an actual action figure that it bent at the elbows. Um, the hips and the knees. I also have a Black RX figure like that that I'm, we're going to do an unboxing for later. But I thought that was the best I'd ever seen. Then there was, when we were in college, I, um, I bought uh, uh, the Sound uh, Ultraman figures. We're going to do a video on that too where they, they pose a lot like Ultra uh, Marvel Legends but they had a, a speaker in the stomach. You hit the back uh, if they had a button or you hit their chest plate if they had a button then they would just go, they would go ah, cha and all the noises they make and all the beams and all the yells so this guy is everything you dreamed about as a kid these goddamn kids nowadays they're so lucky and they have no idea so let's open up the box and check it out so i have the exact same one home uh, we're gonna open it up uh, this is him in the, the mantle but again comes with uh two explosions when he impacts the ground he has one two three four five six seven eight nine ten hands uh, so he can do his little kins and wheel cutter thing and the specium ray itself um, explosives in here uh, these two tabs are what needed to be removed in order to put the brother's mantle on yeah, one tab one tab does the action base uh, that comes with the brother's mantle and then one tab is the actual cape mm. and then there's also a, a red color timer in there all oh, right Where is it? There it is. so in case you're running out of energy yeah and you need low blood sugar and you gotta eat a yogurt or something. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this figure arts. This is this is Kamen Rider Force. That guy was banana. We gotta open up our boy seven. So if you are from the Hawaii area and you were a child in the 70s, you were treated to something, or maybe the Bay Area and parts of California too. So a lot of people got in like 1968 or so, they got Ultraman across the US. But Ultra 7 was uh, translated and aired on the Japanese stations for uh, Japanese Americans in Honolulu, uh, in the neighbor islands as well, and um, as well as in, I think, California and the Bay Area and stuff like that. So uh, Hawaii's favorite Ultraman is not the original Ultraman, it's actually this guy, Ultra 7, because his show uh, aired in Hawaii for a lot of kids growing up in the 70s. So basically, um, the best thing about him is Eiji Tsuburaya thought that he would be the last Ultraman. He didn't envision this uh, franchise going any further. So he did more adult themes in, um, in the Ultra 7 show. Like there's a very famous episode where he uh, visits a planet that's been decimated by nuclear war and he gives them moral uh, high ground where he's like, 
oh, this could happen to us, guys, no more nukes, right? And um, of course, the best thing about him, uh, they revisited in Dragon Ball because uh, uh, Akira Toriyama is uh, a big Ultra 7 fan. So if you remember Lunch, Goku's wife, Gohan's mom, when she first appears in, um, in Dragon Ball, she has the same move, the Ice Slugger, where hits the forehead, the fin knife comes flying off and decapitates people. Well, she was doing that too as well because they love Chichi. Ocean. What was her name? Chichi. Was it Chichi? Well, who did Coco's I say it was? What? Lunch? You said lunch. I said lunch. I'm sorry. It's I'm really good. hungry right now. Oh, Chichi, yeah. Yeah, Chichi could do that. So again, uh, comes with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 hands. Uh, Specium Ray, his version of Specium Ray. Um, this is crunched in on the side, you see, uh, in order to accommodate, uh, to make this, make his arms uh, correctly positioned for the specium ring. If you'll see the chest plate gets in the way, it's a little crinkled on the side, we take his head off, we bust this guy on here, we put this on here, and he's messing fools up. And right here, I believe this is the uh, ice slugger flying through the air to, uh, swoosh effect. to swoosh people to death in Swoosh Town. Um, Ultra 7 is just a great, great character design. Uh, Jay's a huge fan of the new cartoon and the manga. I like the manga a lot too, but he's kind of a dick, Dan Roshi, <laughs> in the new manga and anime, whereas he's an upstanding young man in the original Ultra 7 show. So. Agent Mulder and Agent Scully have uh, smuggled this out of Japan. I think that there's uh, other wealthy items in here. Uh, we're not allowed to talk about it because, you know, Gwyneth Paltrow has gone missing. And we do believe that uh, that bad things have happened to her. So we have to find out what's in the box. Do we want to know what's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? Okay, let's go. How do I open this? Oh, by believing in myself. Oh, there we go. Huh? Huh? Oh, what is this? It's Ultraman Dark and Ultra 7 Dark. Uh, it's the two figures we just reviewed. Uh, we're going around to the back, and they are uh, wild. This happens if you live in the Mirrorverse. If you took off their helmets, they'd have goatees. Okay, let's get these bad boys out. Wow. Okay, so here we are. Uh, we got the same figures as before. Um, they're beautiful. I'm super, actually super jealous. I have an Ultra Man at home, Ultra 7. I got Leo. We're going to be doing a video on Leo Tiga because, of course, we were watching Tiga on TBS in 2000. So, and we bought the VHS tapes and watched it. So we have to have a Tiga. Uh, I really wanted Astra because Astra is expensive. Because you, you can't have Astra if you get Leo. I mean, you can't have... Leo without Astra, they're gonna miss each other. They grew up together. That's why you adopt two dogs instead of one if they're if they're brothers or something. So all the same pieces, pretty much. I mean, look at these guys. They're beautiful. How much was this, Jay? It was 90 bucks. I got it on a steal. Oh wow! I'm actually super jealous. At first, I was like, I don't need these because I have them in different colors. But wow, the paint apps on these are bananas. Even a seven dark. Look at him. He's gone through a lot. It's a divorced man. <laughs> But sadness. He had the ultra beam his ex-wife for custody rights, and she's still on. You know, he is the ultra father. You know his wife's name? What is it? Negative seven. Ah, <laughs> boo. But uh, this seems to be different. Yeah, that's different. Uh, I don't know what. I we're not familiar on what the, these guys are from, but I'm assuming that if you put the two fingers together and they touch, they shoot. I think that's uh, supposed questionable. to go with the regular seven. Ah. Uh, Okay. A questionable looking Yeah, because uh, the spurt. hands are red, yeah, so they would match actual sevens hands. Oh, and then you would do this. Maybe they they would battle, battle they finger fight. Yeah. He's got a super Some dark action. specium ray where he just puts like like freeway water on you. You know like dark freeway water? If you ever see it, it's like real musty filled with brake dust and sad dreams. This guy is fing beautiful. And look at Ultraman, holy crap. Like, I I am blown away. I am really jealous of this set right now, actually. I didn't really take a good look at it when it came in. I was just like, oh, it's just a recolor. I got other stuff to spend my money on. I don't wanna do it, but man, it's Dark Ultraman, amazing looking. Specium Ray, multiple hands, uh, Kian Zen, and I guess, is there gonna be a Dark Mantle? 
Because this seems to be... Oh, no, this is the action pig. Action pig. Oh, but he doesn't have the extra impact stuff that the other at the original track Correct. figure Correct. has. But you can just, just jack it from your other figure and put it... Holy crap, this is beautiful. Um, would we open anything else on our track wise right now? Mm, that's it for now. Okay, well, part two, we'll be opening up mine. Um, after this, please follow me on at Hawaii Toy Box. I need all the love I can get. Uh, I mean, an emotionally stunted person. If you like and follow my toys, I might feel like I like myself more. Uh, other than that, please like, follow, and uh, continue to support our channel. We're trying to share collectibles from Hawaii with you guys and our love of geeky stuff in paradise. All right? Aloha.